Now we're going to talk about unstable injuries. So unstable injuries, again, the patient is unable to use the affected limb. There's severe pain, obvious deformity, which means there's something sticking out where it shouldn't be, uh, or impaired distal CSM. So again, below the injury, they don't have good color, temperature, they can't feel, or they've got numbness tingling, and they don't have good movement. That would be impaired CSM. If you had that impaired CSM or circulation sensation and movement, that's an emergency where this patient could actually have long-lasting damage to the limb and ideally gets to the hospital as fast as possible. So often that's using the 911 EMS system and having them transported there. Our whole plan with an unstable injury is to really have this patient assessed by a medical professional like a doctor or a nurse practitioner. And what we want to do as a, as a first aider on scene is really get that limb ready for transport so that during transport it's not going to get further damaged. That's really our goal with this. So we use the acronym CAST, which goes through the steps that we would use to managing an unstable injury. So the first part is check CSM. If that's impaired, like we mentioned, then you're going to want to call EMS or 911 and have that patient rapidly transported to the hospital. The A is for above and below. So with these type of injuries, what we're going to want to do is uh, create a splint to immobilize or keep the area from moving. Um, and we need to secure that splint above and below the injury. So if the injury is a wrist, we have uh, above it the forearm and below it the hand. So we need something that's going to extend from the hand to the forearm. If it was a forearm injury, then what we have is two joints. So we have the wrist below it and the elbow above it. So we need some sort of splint structure that's going to mobilize both the wrist and the elbow. So that's the above and below of the injury. And we'll go through a number of different methods we would use for this. Um, the S is for soft and adjustable. So we want to make sure that these splints, first of all, are padded. Oftentimes, these patients are going to be waiting a good amount of time, either through the transport or even in a waiting room in the emergency department, before they're fully assessed by a physician. So this splint could be on for a number of hours, and we want to make sure it's padded. If there's any points that are poking into the skin and really creating pressure, those are going to potentially cause uh, what's called pressure sores or ulcers, and they'll also cause a lot of pain. So we really want to pad things with cloth, um, you know, extra clothing, something to really pat it and kind of soften up anything rigid we're using to splint. And then we want to make sure things are adjustable. So whatever we're using to secure this, it needs to be removable and adjusted and reapplied. And the reason for that is we're going to have ongoing swelling throughout this injury. So, you know, using duct tape and a stick is not really going to be soft or adjustable. I'd much rather use something like, you know, a SAM splint with some padding in there, you know, wrapped up with an elastic wrap. Everything's kind of padded, um, it's adjustable, I can unwrap this, rewrap it as needed. So that's our soft and adjustable. And the last T is for transport and monitor. So again, unstable injuries need to be assessed by a medical professional, often at a site that has the ability to do some imaging, so usually the emergency department. And what we want to do while we're transporting that patient is monitor CSM. So once we have this splint applied, we want to recheck circulation, color and warmth, sensation, can they feel, do they have any numbness, tingling, and movement, do they have any movement below the injury. If at some point throughout our transportation where we were doing, you know, more of a low risk, um, gentle evacuation, we're walking to the hospital, something like that, and they lost their CSM, then we would want to increase the priority of that and maybe now call an ambulance uh, to expedite that transport. So that's the review of kind of the unstable injury treatment using the CAST acronym. And we have a great page of this in our, uh, in our first responder field guide, which we'll link in the comments below. Uh, but this is a great little resource that just kind of goes through those acronyms of your assessment and your treatment plan.